What's up guys, Tim Hossel with Drag Boss Garage. Well, haven't made a video in a while, so I'll kind of give you an update of where I'm at. You can see behind me the Cougar back there with no wheels on it. So I ended up getting the wrong springs sent to me from Mark Menser. Um, I showed pictures of them and they were too small where it goes up to the shock tower. They need to be four inch inside diameter for it to work well uh, and be the right shock and spring combination. So he's gonna send them out to me. So I had some time, I got a bunch of stuff going on and Mrs. Drag Boss was out here making a video. I said, I better put a video up, kind of show you where I'm at. So I've been working on the intake manifold for the strip dominator for the 354 Cleveland. That thing made like 616 horse, I think at eight grand with a stock strip dominator and a regular 1050 adapter out of the box. Now. Brent Likens, who built the motor, said that it made uh, power because of the carburetor. Well, I got a couple carburetors, and we're going to test them out. So I decided to port the intake and see if I can pick up anything. So let me show you where I'm at. So here's where I'm at. That's the Holly strip diameter. I made this little porting setup. It's bolted to my welding table, which can pivot if I needed to, loosen these up, and it can turn. Uh, I got the Dotco grinder. The die grinder Darren Morgan told me about, I'm telling you, that thing eats aluminum like crazy with the carbide burrs I got from Greg Cuso. So I had a problem with it filling up the flutes down here, and I use a wire brush, but really, I put it in some transmission fluid, and it, it, they don't even really get stuck. It's crazy. Let me show you the intake now, and I'll put some pictures up where you can kind of compare it. Let me show you the inside. Check that out. It was a spread bore pattern. That's what the Holly Strip Dominator is. Now it's a square, Holly Square bore pattern. Look at that thing. The runners are terrible. I can't believe it made the power that it has over the years. But I've got them kind of smoothed out, especially here, here. These guys are kind of big to begin with. So I did the best I could on it. These are pretty uptunded, rounded. So I started smoothing them, and I'm just in the preliminary stages. So, hi, oh, hi, Elena. Can I tell you something? I'm making a video. What can you tell me? Um, lobster. Just what? Lobster. We're going to make lobster. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wait, what are all these? Do you remember one got stuck in my foot? Well, that was something different, but yeah. So anyway, so take a peek. You want to say hi? Hi, everybody. Gymnastics going. Good, can I show them the cartwheel? Okay, hurry up. Okay, okay. She's got to show you this cartwheel. She's been practicing. Nice. That's a nine. It's a hard. I know. Let's <laughs> let's let me finish doing this. So you can see in here the runners. Again, this guy's pretty thick right here. So I'm trying to round it out and streamline it. I got these looking pretty good. So this? let me clean it up. Oh, that's a die grinder porter. Ah, Oops, sorry, dear. Sure. Let me clean it up, and then we'll get a better look at it. But I'll tell you, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work porting. I never did it before. This is the first intake I ever did. So it's starting to come out fairly well. And definitely these areas need to work on a stock intake. I'm surprised that they work as well as they do, like I said before. And I didn't change any of the runner size in regards to the opening. I should say, I didn't change any of the openings. I left them the way they were. Kind of smoothed it out up to it, but I didn't make these any bigger. They're already big enough, so we don't need to do that. I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned to Drag Boss Garage. Where you're always seeing and learn something new. What you're looking at right there are the first and last Cleveland blocks. The one on the left is original Ford from 1968. The one on the right is Alcoa Super Alloy Track Boss Block by Tim Meyer. More on these two blocks in the future. Stay tuned. 